Jasmine here from How to Electronics. In few earlier videos, I explained about the ESP32 TFT touchscreen camera device. We made some video games and some other projects utilizing the camera and TFT touchscreen. We also made three cool projects using the same product. The first one was displaying the DST11 sensor value. The second one was displaying wind speed value using anemometer. At last, we measured ultrasonic distance using the ultrasonic sensor. This is a beautiful 3.5 inch touchscreen display based on ESP32 rover with a built in 2 megapixel OV2640 camera. And this is the indoor environment expansion shield used for measuring environmental parameters. This can be directly connected to ESP32 TFT screen. So we will make two projects today. The first project will be monitoring indoor environment air quality. In this project, we will measure temperature, humidity and carbon dioxide value and display them with a beautiful widget or gauge. In this second project, we will measure the SPG30 carbon dioxide and TVOC parameters. The screen will display the graphical data in historical format. This project is very interesting for all of us. So without getting any delayed, let's get started. This video is sponsored by my favorite PCB manufacturer company called Next PCB. They offer PCB board and PCB assembly services at the lowest affordable price. You can get trial PCB, 2 layer PCB and 4 layer PCB with free PCB assembly shipping services up to a fast lead time of 24 hours. There is a good news. That is Next PCB has acquired Kiki PCB. You can use a Kiki PCB account to log into Next PCB and directly place an order. There is another great news. You can get up to 30% off for the PCB offer and up to 20% off for the PCBA offer. You can check the activity rules to learn more about this. Welcome back again. This is a beautiful touchscreen display based on ESP32 rubber chip with a built-in 2 megapixel OV2640 camera. The TFT LCD driver is basically ILI9488 and has a dimension of 3.5 inch with 320 x 480 screen resolution. The ILI9488 LCD uses SPI for communication with the ESP32 chip. The board is having a micro SD card slot for attaching an external SD card. The SD card can be used for storing files and images. There is a Type-C USB port basically a USB to UART converter for ESP32 programming. Using the OB2640 camera, you can make applications such as remote photography, face recognition and security system projects. This is a touch screen display, but in this application, I won't be using the touch function. I will just use it to display the sensor's data. This is an indoor environment expansion board for the ESP32 3.5 inch touch screen. The indoor environment expansion integrates the temperature and humidity sensor DST11 and SGP30 air quality sensor to detect the CO2 and TVOC so you can create an indoor environment detector easily. There is also an onboard buzzer that can be used for the alarm. The ESP32 3.5 inch TFT touch can also be used as a hardware expansion with the expansion connector. All you need is to insert the expansion board into ESP32 TFT slot. Let's move to the first project. Here is a code for indoor environment monitoring. We need a TFT SPI library for TFT display. The Adafruit SPG30 library and DST library are for SPG30 and DST11 sensor. We have also created an array for displaying the animation. This array is sorted in alert.h file. The rest of the code part is long and explains the method of displaying the animations. To upload this code, select ESP32 rover module from the board list and leave all other settings the same as shown here. Insert the C type cable to the USB port and then upload the code. Press the reset button from the back to reset the module. The LCD screen will display three beautiful gauges. The first one is the temperature display. The second one is the relative humidity and the third one is displaying the CaO2 value in ppm. To check the working of the sensor, you can introduce any gas or body spray or perfumes. I will use my axis spray. 
As soon as the spray is used, there is a massive rise in CO2 ppm value. It will come down slowly as soon as the air becomes clean. So this is how the expansion shield works and gives results immediately. Now, let's go to the second project which is displaying CO2 and TVOC value historical level. Again in the code, the same libraries are used and there is no need of alert.h file here as we are writing the mathematical expressions here to draw the graph. So upload this code again and press the reset button. This is the pair of graph that is basically a line chart. The data are entered after every interval of every 3 seconds and recorded on graph. The top one is the value of the total volatile organic compound and the second one is the value of equivalent carbon dioxide. Now again to test the working of this code, I use the X spray. As soon as the air becomes polluted, there is a rise in the TVOC value and ECO2. This will gradually fall down as the time elapses and the air becomes clean. So this is a fantastic as well. And everything looks perfect. You can modify the code to add some more parameters here on the LCD display. The complete details of the project that includes the written tutorial can be found in our website article. You can get the module's purchase link along with the pin mapping and features. The code or program can be copied from here for your project. I hope you like this video. Drop a like and hit the subscribe button if you are new to our channel. And thank you so much for watching.